Hey guys, it's Wayne, one of the editors over here at CGM, and this week we're going to be talking about virtual reality. It's it's actually happening now. You know, it's like for a, a while now, it's mostly been Oculus Rift all by its lonesome, um, you know, just trying to push forward that virtual reality wagon. But you know, it's like now, recently, you know, it's like Sony's jumped in too. We've got like you know Project Morpheus announced not too long ago at the Game Developers Conference. So what this means is we've got a virtual reality unit coming to PCs and a virtual reality unit coming to consoles. Um, so the big question now becomes, are we actually ready for virtual reality? Um, my personal answer to that is, God, 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 I hope so. Um, for me personally, it's like I'm, I'm probably dating myself now, but I've actually been following um, the spurts and sputters of virtual reality tech for quite a few years now. Um, he was once referred to as Silicon Valley's Rastafarian Hobbit. Um, a guy by the name of Jaron Lanier, he once had a company called VPL in um, Silicon Valley, and those guys were pushing virtual reality as far back as the 90s. Of course, with you know computers being what they were in the 90s and the processing power back then, you can probably imagine that VR didn't look very impressive. You know, but now, it's 2014, and um, Computers have gotten a lot faster, a lot more powerful, and a lot cheaper to produce at those power levels. So we're finally seeing things like um, you know, Oculus Rift and Project Morpheus. Now, it probably goes without saying that Oculus Rift, if you've got the money, will probably be the premier virtual reality technology if they can make it work. Um, the reason for that is simple. Um, VR requires two images simultaneously independently rendered at two different angles. And um, for the longest time now, guys like AMD and NVIDIA, the um, you know, graphics card manufacturers, have sort of been sitting around going, well, we've got these extremely powerful cards that can render images simultaneously from different angles, but nobody seems to want them. What can we do with them? It's like, well, here comes virtual reality, which if uh, I were NVIDIA or AMD, I would be pushing really, really hard for these technologies because it suddenly makes those cards, which only professionals wanted, suddenly viable for a mass market because for people that want the best VR experience, they're going to suddenly want those powerful cards which admittedly weren't all that useful if you were just a hardcore gamer that only wanted a single image put up on a screen. Now, suddenly, it makes a lot more sense to have those cards. Um, moving over to the console space, Project Morpheus, I'm excited about it. I am probably going to get it because, you know, it's like I, I'm, I'm a VR advocate, but I really wonder about how far that technology can be pushed when you've got like a locked-in console which was originally designed to produce 1080p 60 frame per second single images as opposed to you know simultaneously outputting that image on two different angles that's probably going to mean that sony's got a lot more challenges you know facing them as opposed to the oculus rift guys where they can just you know constantly upgrade their equipment based on you know whatever new cards um, amd and nvidia are going to come out with but regardless the important thing here is VR is actually happening now. You know, it's like maybe not in 2014, probably 2015, but it is happening. And if you haven't tried it, I strongly recommend that you do because it's really, really difficult to convey into words. But once you slip that thing on and you get that sense of you are there, it's like you are there and you really have to try it out. So, you know, it's like Oculus, Sony, please make this work. Thank you.